Elderly residents at care homes across Calderdale and Huddersfield can now get expert medical advice 24 hours a day thanks to a video link direct to hospital. A pilot project will run at 18 homes as part of plans to try and reduce hospital admissions and the strain on A&E. Our health correspondent, Jimmy Coulson, reports. Uh, we've got resident Eileen Richardson this morning. Good morning. Do you prefer Eileen or Mrs Richardson? Good morning. If 85-year-old Eileen Richardson becomes unwell or needs medical attention, she can now be seen immediately by a specialist nurse or doctor who's at the other end of a computer screen rather than going to hospital. It's nice not having to go out, isn't it, Eileen? It's, well. it's nice not having to go outside. Oh, yeah. Not having to go to hospital. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you some more questions just about your breathing. 18 care homes across Calderdale and Huddersfield are taking part in a pilot project which provides elderly residents with a secure video link to specially trained staff at Airedale Hospital. Care homes with the highest rates of hospital admissions were selected to take part in the project and it's hoped that by using this technology they can reduce the strain on local hospitals and their A&E departments. They don't have to travel, they don't have to sit in an A&E department, they don't have to wait to be seen by a clinician, it can be just done there and then by their bedside is, for us is, is fantastic and it's putting the patient first which is what we want to do. We've used it from chest infections, back pains, minor fits, suspected strokes. We are straight onto the hub and we take guidance from them. With the, what you've told us today, I don't think that we'll need to see you again. The pilot project, which has been funded by the local hospital trust, will run for 12 months, offering patients like Eileen expert advice at the click of a button. All right, Thank you. Bye. 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 Jamie Coulson, BBC Look North.